State-owned defense company Dinell held a successful capability demonstration from 15 to August 17, 2023 at the Alcantpan Test Range in Copperton in the Northern Cape, showcasing the fact that the company is back in business. It also confirmed that Dinell is still at the forefront of global technological advancement in the field of artillery and that it has recapacitated itself to be able to meet customer expectations in pursuit of world-class product offerings. In addition, the objective was to re-establish and grow the relationship with end-users, the local defense industry and international partners, with the intent of getting closer to the niche markets. A primary feature of the demonstration was to showcase Danelle's high-performance 52-caliber ballistic system, the 155mm truck-mounted gun system, the T-5, and the Seeker 400 Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Systems UAVS. The 155mm T5-52 artillery system has the latest technology with the capability to fire in excess of 60 km in range with high accuracy and reliability. Ten delegations from international countries were invited of which eight attended. They were joined at Alcampan by the South African delegation led by the Deputy Minister of Public Enterprises, Mr. Obed Bapila. Local participants included representatives from the Department of Defense, DOD, the Directorate Conventional Arms Control, CAC, Arms Corps, the CSIR, the SA Army, Defense Intelligence, as well as a few local defense industry companies. The T5-52 is designed to be highly mobile, with increased firepower and low operating cost. The Seeker 400 UAVS operates at a direct line of sight, LOS, range of up to 250 km with more than 10 hours over a target, providing a cruising speed of 150 km per hour and up to 16 hours endurance with a multiple sensor payload capability of up to 100 kg. Danel collaborated with its subsidiary company Rainmetal Danel Munition RDM, which supplied their suite of world-class artillery ammunition, while the mainstay of the capability demonstration, the T5-52 155mm artillery howitzer was provided by the Danel Land Systems. Present at the static display was the new 105mm self-propelled howitzer, Ultimate, mounted on Danel Vehicle Systems RG41 8x8 armored platform, the 105mm Light Experimental Ordnance, LEO slash Webby, as well as the MST mounted on an RG-32M mine-hardened armored patrol vehicle. From Danel Dynamics, the Seeker 400 was on full display with demonstration flights on the first two days, by first completing the surveillance mission over the targets and confirming the grids once the firing started, is also provided the function of correction to the fall of shot through live feed of the impact area. The main attraction was, however the T5-52, Day 1 saw the demonstration of the stability, accuracy and consistency of the launcher system with, among others, the 35 degrees of left and right firing of the system. Day 2 saw the firing of the multi-round simultaneous impact MSI, as well as a demonstration of the maximum rate of fire. The shoot and scoot was also demonstrated highlighting the in and out of action reaction times. Day 3 was reserved for the ultra-long-range firing where three velocity-enhanced artillery projectiles VLAP, rounds were fired at an objective area marked outside Alcantpan test range. The prevailing wind and other meteorological factors, with 130 km per hour headwinds in the upper meteorological line, made for an interesting ultra-long-range firing. The first of the three shots achieved 60 for km with the second reaching 60, 9 km. This was an undeniably proud moment for Danelle as the ballistic test of the final shot for the day achieved an astonishing result of up to 61, 29 km range, the first of its kind in the world. This proved, once and for all, the superiority of the system combination between the T5-52 from Danelle and the RDM ammunition suite from the Asagai family. The deputy minister shared his excitement on experiencing such a successful event as this showed that Danel is back to business and has the full support from the government, its shareholder the Department of Public Enterprises, the board and management and will continue to work towards making Danel a sustainable and profitable company. The international delegates also confirmed their excitement and expressed the view that they are always looking forward to working with Danel. 
Ms. Fundeswa Squiagushu, an Armscore board member, also shared her happiness that Danelle and Armscore are now moving on the right path to work towards a bright future together and push ahead with local programs for the SANDF. The demonstration received positive reviews from those in attendance. The event is a statement from Danelle to the global market confirming its place as a global supplier of world-class aerospace, military and defense equipment. This capability demo has truly confirmed to the clients that Danelle is, indeed, redefining its future.